Hello everyone, Cora here, and I am going to be doing Star Swirl Academy, time and again. Uh, full demo, start. I decided to restart playing this game because uh, it's been a while and I don't remember that much. <laughs> This demo represents a project still in development. It does not reflect the final game. Some features such as menus and music are placeholders. This all feels like one big dream. Dreams being the only place where I feel brave enough to stray from the path life has paved for me. Sticking to the path assures me that nothing can go wrong. Don't say that! Following the routine, playing my part, speaking when spoken to, it's a structure that, for the most part, has helped me play it safe. It seems that without any proper direction, I always end up making bad decisions. That's what we call life, people. These actions have defined myself as a person I would never leave behind. Since I've come to terms with this, I found it hard to give myself the reins over my life again. That is, if someone like a teacher tells me to do something, I go along with it. As you should. Even my only friend in the even my only friend in the world has the same authority. After all, they seem to have everything worked out better than I do. But is all of this what's best for me? I don't even know what's important to me right now. I haven't put much thought into it, and honestly, I'm not sure if I want to. I feel so unprepared. There I was, willing surra willingly surra surrendering my to all- I can't read! Ah, this is why I don't narrate! There I was, willingly surrendering to a life of solitude when reality clicked its fingers in my face. This path I had been hopelessly dragging myself down was taking me nowhere. To continue with it would have been meaningless. I allowed myself to take to take a detour. Although I don't feel although I don't quite feel like I've broken the mold from having done so. Because I wouldn't even be going this to the school if my friend hadn't opened the door for me. But for what it's worth, I'm grateful she did. Woo! Friendship! I'll have that chance now. A chance to be something. Tom? Dot dot dot. Hey, it's Twilight! Sorry, Ty. Tom? Hmm? Ow! Hey, Earth the Tom! There you are! You were spacing out again. Oh, sorry. Dot dot dot. My arm throbs a little. Ow. Dot, dot, dot. You should pay attention when someone is talking to you. It's rude to ignore people you know. I've heard this lecture before. If there's one thing I know about Ty, it's that she always has a lecture prepared for when she thinks I've done something wrong. Who is she, your mom? She never, she really never changes. Not that that's bad, not that that's a bad thing. I am such a great reader, everyone. Sorry, I guess I'm trying to wrap my head around everything that's going on. It's just too surreal. What's surreal about it? The fact it's all happening, the fact it's happening at all, I suppose. One day I'm going through the motions of my old school and the next Ty comes back into my life trying to convince me to go to this fancy academy of hers. Trying, dot dot dot. Succeeding, dot dot dot. Nothing, I guess. She makes an expression. She makes an expression like she knows what I was thinking anyway. You aren't still dwelling li on this, are you? You didn't. Even, you didn't have to come if you didn't want to, you know. I sigh. No, you didn't force me. I just. I agreed to go. But I'm not sure if this is what I wanted to do. Things are moving so fast for me, it doesn't even feel real. 
Well, perhaps this will be a good thing for you. If you're stuck in a rut, try new things. It's a good trying new things is a good way to spur your creativity. Since you're always dragging your feet, I think Star Swirl will do you some good. It probably will, after all. It's a prestigious school, and it'll challenge me academically. There will be new opportunities I wouldn't have had back home. I bet you'll be able to find what you're good at before you know it. I laugh. Ha! You make it sound so easy. You never know until you try, right? I suppose. You really should get more into the spirit of this. Star Swirl Academy is going to be absolutely amazing. I can already feel it. Ty has a way of always seeing the brighter side of life. Whenever I'm unsure or uncertain about what's going to happen, she's always rushing forward. She told me that while she was away, she had met many amazing people and learned many amazing things. I'm still not entirely sure what she went through, but it seems to have made her grow quite a lot as a person. She must really have it together to have received the scholarship she did. The Headmaster Scholarship is out. The Headmaster Scholarship, it's so out of- Oh my god, I can't read! Ah! The Headmaster Scholarship, it's so out of my league, it's kind of funny when I think about it. Actually, that reminds me, dot dot dot. So, this Headmaster, what's he like? She's unamused. She is my idol. Oh, I just assumed. Anyone would have guessed the headmaster was a man. Wouldn't a woman be a headmistress? Although, now that I think about it, I suppose it's not that uncommon. There's a lot that could be said about her. At least she didn't give me a lecture on the subject. She's ha she has this sense of grace about her. She does everything with a regal air. She's incredibly smart, probably the smartest person ever. She's incredibly kind and forgiving, both wise and clever, dot dot dot. And for her age, she's beautiful. Wow, that's quite the glowing review, Ty. If I had to guess, it sounds like you have a crush on her. Ooh! What? Absolutely not. She's just a very nice woman. I'm excited to finally meet her. Uh-huh. Sure. You're blushing. You're blushing. You're blushing, Ty. Hey, it's okay with me if you swing that way. I just never would have guessed you went for the older types. Oh, snap. Ty turns away from me to stare out the window. You're a jerk sometimes. Better than always a jerk. I chuckle. Teasing her always brightens my mood a little. Her reactions are adorable. Aww, ship. I'm sure you'll like Star Swirl Academy. Just give it a chance, alright? I will, Ty. Don't worry. The cabin goes quiet. Only the sounds of the train cackling against the rails remains. After a few minutes of watching the landscape flash by, my eyes wander over to Ty. She's curled up against the window, resting her head in my, into her arms. She seems so calm and peaceful, it's almost as if I was looking at a completely different person. Ty, is always, a wor Ty always was a workaholic, even when we were younger. She never stopped studying, and if she wasn't working on homework or a project, she had at least a dozen clubs that she was at least a member of. It's no wonder she had it's no wonder she and I didn't spend that much time together in the past couple years. Walking to and from school was probably the extent of us seeing each other. Ty looks to be asleep, her face pressed against the panel of the train of the train car. She tuckered out quickly. She tuckered out quickly. I guess even the, the workaholic can burn herself out. The rhythm of the train bumping against the tracks below is the only thing breaking the silence. Only one thing to do now. Ooh, uh, well, she she just fell asleep, so why would I wake her up? She, she spray shaving cream in her hand and tickle her nose. Tempting, but I'm gonna 
to explore the train. Might as well let her sleep, dot dot dot, lest they suffer the wrath of the grumpy Seato monster. I get up as quickly as I can and shuffle towards the compartment door. It takes a while for me to adjust to standing after having sat for so long. It can be a little disorienting walking on a train while it's moving. I'm sure Ty would have a super nerdy physics explanation for it. I think the train porter mentioned a dining car at the back. As I make my way there, there seems to be a very few passengers. It almost feels like the train is empty. There's got to be other students aboard, right? Eh, I guess they're probably napping through the train ride in their cabins like Ty is. The cafe is huge, much bigger than I expected. Uh, check the time here. Uh, go for like a minute or so. And like everywhere else, she's seemingly, and like everywhere else, seemingly empty. Hello there! An energetic voice calls out from behind the bar. What? Ow! The counter shakes and an empty cup falls on the floor. Ah! Is this character supposed to be derpy? Can't tell. Her eyes aren't derped. I guess she is supposed to be derpy. A girl jumps up, rubbing her uh, rubber. Eh! A girl jumps up, rubbing her head and wincing. You okay? I'm fine. Dot dot dot. Ah! Star Swirl? I glance down. With these clothes, I suppose everyone will recognize me as an academy student now. Yeah, I'm on my way to. My eyes are suddenly drawn to her clothes. You're a student at Star Swirl too? Mm hmm. But then what are you doing here? What am I doing here? She doesn't seem to follow my question. I mean, today. It's Friday! Well, it's not Friday, it's Tuesday, but whatever. And that's it for part one, guys. Um, I'll see you all next time. I'm going to try to make these um, 15 minutes or less because of my copyright strike. But that'll be it for today. See you all maybe later today or tomorrow. Who knows? Goodbye.